Hey guys, so last night I watched Valley of the Dolls and um, I was like, I have to do something like that tomorrow. I love all of their makeup. So I did a more, um, one of the more dramatic looks from it. So if you like what you see, stay tuned. So last night I watched Valley of the Dolls and um, I was just doing my makeup and I'm getting, I'm like, you know what, I should do like a Valley of the Dolls inspired look. So. Um, all I've done right now is just prep my skin and I did a little bit of um, just like a light eye base but I'm actually going to use, I'm thinking of like Sharon Tate's look and I'm going to use Bamboo Old School MAC Paint. It's just a little, it just looks just like your skin tone. So I'm going to take this right over here. It's got a little bit of like a pinky gold to it. Just like that. So you just want this neutral hint of shimmer eye. So, really easy way to get this look is to take an eyeliner. One that's not a long wear. You don't want a long wear for this one, like the one time that you don't want something to be a long wear. Perfect. So, this is an old school one that I'm sure a lot of you have. It's um, by MAC. It's called Teddy. It's got like this, it's a brown with a hint of gold shimmer to it. What you want to do is look straight at yourself. So not any of this yet, just look straight at yourself. Notice where your crease lies. So I'm going to look just slightly off here so that I can, so that I can see what I'm doing, but you want to barely make a mark right above where your natural crease is. Check the mirror, make sure, oh! That's really hard not to do, not to look in the mirror and do. But you want to just barely take it over your crease. So, I can't look this way, I have to look this way for a second. You want to take it out just slightly, okay? Then we're going to take a little smudgy brush. Let's see. Nothing too wide, so I'm actually not going to take a smudgy brush. I'm going to take just like a little eyeliner brush. It looks like a little paint brush. And I'm just going to windshield wipe this liner look. I know it looks like not even and weird right now, but it'll look fine. Even use your finger just a bit and smudge it. I'm going to take the liner from the side here. and connect it. Then going into cleanup, I'm going to take that same brush with my paint on it. And just refine that on the inside. Darken anywhere you need to.
not just Valley of the Dolls, this is a very 1960s look in general. You can see a lot of people like Twiggy, for instance, wore this look a lot. Across the top, I'm going to slightly stretch this out. take my liner across the eye and I'm not going to blend it out as much as the top, I'm just going to soften it. I need to do some lashes. I'm going to use the 747 mediums. These are from Nigel's Beauty Emporium. So once this is setting, I'm going to do my little cleanup work um, and make this look a little bit more refined. So I'm going to take my Dior eyeliner brush into a brown shadow. I'm just going to use Embark from MAC. You see like people like Edie Sedgwick wear this look a lot but in a more dramatic way. Do a liquid liner right over the top. this up with mascara so in this case it's more of like a costumey type of look so I don't care and these lashes were not that expensive so I don't care that I'm getting mascara on the lashes I want lashes So I know that this looks, you know, you can just see a line, but that was the look. And from far away, it just looks like a deeper crease, but up close you can see that the crease is artificial. So that's like the perfect Valley of the Doll Eye. I'm going to finish the other one, and I'll catch you guys at the end. So this is the finished look. Um, it's very Sharon Tate. I'd hope that she'd be proud. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Or it's it's very it was a very easy look honestly I think that you guys could do it so um, just follow along I used 
wet like four things on my eye it's not a big deal it's all about drawing your shape and then subtly blending it out so there's a lot of different 60s looks that you could um, kind of copy the shapes of and then just it's all about the brush it's all about you know being patient and blending it out but this is how it turned out I added a little bit of nude liner on the lower waterline um, makeup was Dior Air Flash, Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder, La Prairie Cream Blush, MAC Dirty Blonde Eyebrow, MAC Oak Lip Liner with Tarte um, Exposed Lip, which I'm obsessed with by the way, um, and Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder under the eye. So that's it. I actually didn't even do a highlighter today, so, and Laguna Bronzer. There you go. So that's how I got the whole look. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Subscribe up top, and um, I'll see you guys next time.